Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I'm still scratching and clawing and trying to get those objectives done to get more presents out of the great gift pile during the Steam holiday sale. Hope everybody had a happy holiday, a happy Christmas, to be more exact, and uh, I hope that you all didn't miss me too much as we didn't get our normal weekend rendezvous with the Roundup. Uh, but let's go ahead and make passionate intellectual love via the internet right now as we commiserate over video games. Was that as awkward for you as it was for me? I hope so. So uh, here we are, guys. These are the daily deals for the 26th, because as of right now, though it is the 27th of December, the deals have not reset. So uh, here we go. Let's take a look at these deals. Now, I'm not going to go over every deal. Some people are doing that, and I think those people are doing a great job at that. Uh, I'm just going to hit you with three real quick highlights. Rock of Ages, Bulletstorm, and Bastion. Hopefully you picked these up. Uh, Rock of Ages, an amazing game, an amazing deal. Bulletstorm is a hell of a mindless good time, and that's an amazing deal. And Bastion is Bastion. Own it. If you don't have it, get it, please. So the real purpose of this video is just to bring you up to date on my objective hunt and uh, get, you, uh, get you up to speed. Yep. We're going to go to the pile. You will see I'm up to 16. I think I was on 6 or 8 last time we spoke. So uh, we are up to 16 objectives completed right now. And uh, yeah, this is where we are. We have done objectives for, uh, let's see, Rock of Ages, And Yet It Moves, Jamestown, Post-Apocalyptic Mayhem, Space Marine, Adam Zombie Smasher, and one or two others. So I'm going to show you what I have earned from those achievements, but before I do that, I'm going to give you a real quick bit of insight into how I pick what objectives to go for. I know at this point you have, you know, six days, seven days worth of objectives, and it can be kind of daunting if you haven't been keeping up with it. So let me go to my breakdown process here. Uh, first of all, I take a look at the objectives. There are six every day, and there's always going to be one that's free. It's either going to be based on a free-to-play game, for instance, Rusty Hearts, or it's going to be something you can do around the Steam community, like look at your inventory, put 10 things on your wish list, trade with another player, join the Steam group for the holiday sale, that sort of thing. So I always look at the free one, and I think, can I do that quickly? Um, do I have that game installed? Is it ready to go? The Spiral Knights achievement was one of those free achievements, as well as those other achievements that I already talked about, Steam, Steam group, 10 things, blah, blah, blah. So that's the first one. Identify the free one, which is always going to be at the top, and decide how efficient it is to, to do that one. I will end up doing all of the free achievements, most likely, except maybe the Rise of Immortals, uh, because I just don't really want to try to get into that business. Um, so uh, Rusty Hearts, I think this is right after the tutorial area, so it shouldn't be too hard to achieve. So, uh, you know, that's my process. Look at that free one. How feasible is that? Then I look at the rest of them, and I kind of I, I kind of clump them into two categories: low-hanging fruit. Those are the easy to medium achievements, things that take anywhere from five minutes to twenty minutes to achieve, and don't require too much effort or knowledge of the game. If it's a game I haven't played before, and then there's usually going to be one or two every day that are that are difficult, that could prove time-consuming, or uh, well, for instance, today, Worms Reloaded. Deal exactly 12 damage to a worm with 100 health. That is a specific thing that you need to do. I don't know if there's a weapon in Worms Reloaded. As you can see, I don't own it at this time. Uh, it, that will deal 12 damage. So I don't know how hard that is, but that seems hard. And at first glance, that's something that I would probably go ahead and write off, even if I owned Worms. Um, so I try to identify those. I try to identify those hard achievements and just go ahead and bypass those for the most part, uh, even if I own the game. Back in that low-hanging fruit category, there's still going to be a couple of divisions. Like I said, easy to medium. Uh, for instance, this uh, a Game of Thrones, Winter's Coming, right? That one is, uh, I would consider that medium borderline hard because the game is expensive. And that's pretty much the only reason. So if I already own this game, this achievement would seem pretty easy. Play as the Starks, an entire multiplayer game, or versus the AI. That's pretty easy, but I would consider this to be sort of a medium 
uh, you know, if this is a, let's, let's continue the low hanging fruit analogy, all right? This apple is a couple of branches up. You know, you might have to get on your tippy toes to actually reach this one, uh, but it's still pretty easy to get. You don't have to climb the tree to get it like you might have to do with worms. So that's my analysis process. And as you can see, if something is super easy, I knock it out right away. Rock of Ages knocked it out. Uh, there are some hard achievements that I'm actually working on. Toki Tori, for instance, is a good example. It involves you collecting 10 snowflakes across 10 levels, and the snowflakes disappear about after about 15 seconds. So you have to sort of um, forget about the objective of the level and actually go right after the snowflake. And that one's proving to be difficult, and uh, I'm kind of trying it a little bit every now and then. So that's sort of my analysis process, and you may be able to use that to rack up a few more achievements. Um, you know, you can go down to some of these days. Well, let's pick this one because there's five uh, left to complete. And oddly, I own all of these games. I actually do own Fate of the World. I just haven't activated the code. Um, so, you know, uh, EYE, I've just had this game for a short time since it was on uh, the Daily Deal. Uh, so I haven't managed to get into it far enough to even try that. Uh, Frozen Synapse, that seems like that one's probably going to be a little bit difficult. Um, it's something you could, you could facilitate with another player online, most certainly. Uh, kind of do a trade-off with them. Uh, Audio Surf, I've never actually played it, though I, I perpetually have it installed. Same thing for Greed Corp and then Fate of the World. You know, So if I was going to hit any of these, uh, I would probably try Audio Surf and I would probably try to find someone to do the Frozen Synapse one with me. Uh, my goal is to get 30 objectives done. So uh, I will be dipping my toe into some of those medium hard objectives. Um, but uh, right now there's going to be plenty more objectives that are going to come up for the next four or five days. So I have no, no worries about getting 30. Uh, I would actually love to get to 40 if I could. But that's going to require me to actually sit down and clear a few of these days um, especially the days like, you know, like the 23rd where I have pretty much all the games. Um, I'm really going to have to sit down and clear those days. So let's move over to the inventory because this is getting a little bit long for my liking. Uh, so here we go. I picked up uh, Blocks That Matter. Just It was so cheap. Picked it up as a gift for somebody. I don't know. Somebody's going to get this game uh, sooner or later. So uh, keep your eyes out. Most of you should own Blocks That Matter. But if you don't, you will get the opportunity to win it from me at some point in the near future. Same as Arcadia. Same as Alpha Protocol. So we got, uh, we're up to 10 coal. I think I had four or maybe five or six last time that uh, you guys were here. So uh, got a few more coal. That's great. And we got some coupons. Uh, of course, I got COGS, which is a game I already own. Awesome. And the odd box, uh, Back to the Future. Uh, Gary's Mod I traded for to get my trade achievement. And um, Left 4 Dead 2 I got when I traded Osmos. So um, I, I traded Osmos for Left 4 Dead 2 and Airplane Tycoon 2 50% off coupons. And then I traded the Airplane Tycoon 2 coupon for the Gary's Mod coupon. Uh, so yeah, that's where I am. Uh, but ultimately the coupons, um, they really don't mean a lot to me because, uh, if I can rant for a moment, I think these coupons are absolutely valueless. And the reason that I say that is twofold. Uh, one, all of the publisher coupons exclude any new releases that are released after January 2nd. So that's a bummer. You can't get any games that come out first quarter 2012 with the coupon. Also, the coupon has a limited duration. Not so much of a problem for a coupon. I mean, most coupons expire, but the coupon starts when the sale ends. Okay, so um, I have three good examples of this in my box right now. Global Ops Commando Libya. Let's say I'm interested in using this coupon. Well, Hopefully, I'm smart enough to actually look at this game. This game is currently discounted 75%. Now remember, I can't use this coupon until this sale ends. So it is the holiday sale, standard discount, 75%. So that means that when the second hits and my coupon activates, this game is going to go back up to $29.99. I can then use my coupon to cut that in half to $14.99 at which point I'm still paying twice as much as the coupon, as the game is currently on sale for. Doesn't make a lot of sense. It makes this coupon completely and totally worthless. Some of the other coupons have a slight break-even value to them. Left 4 Dead 2, for instance, is currently discounted at 50%, so if I wait and buy it on the second with the coupon, I won't be losing anything. 
Gary's Mod is the exact same scenario. Gary's Mod is currently discounted 75%, so if I buy Gary's Mod with the coupon after the second, I won't be losing anything. The sole exception to this is Back to the Future. Back to the Future is currently discounted 33%, meaning that if I wait and use the coupon, I will actually get a better deal on Back to the Future. However, Back to the Future was one of the daily deals and was discounted either 50 or 66%. So either way, no matter how you slice it, there's no real gain from any of these coupons. Back to the Future, yes, I guess you could slice it in a manner that, that point of fact, Back to the Future is a deal, potentially. Uh, if I wanted Back to the Future I, and bought Back to the Future during the daily deal, not so much. So uh, that's my little rant on the coupons. I don't find them very intriguing. I find them actually a little bit insulting because right now all these games can be had for uh, very close to the discount offered on the coupon or a better discount in the case of three of my coupons. So uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed with that. I'd rather be able to trade these in for coal. Cole's the consolation prize. I shouldn't be crossing my fingers to get the consolation prize. Your prize should be worth more than that. Now, of course, you do have a chance to get a game, and that's great. And if you've won a game, I'd love to hear about it. I heard about someone who won Portal 2. That's cool. But come on. The coupons are practically worthless. You really, I have one coupon out of seven that actually is a better deal. And I think that is a little bit sad. So, uh, yeah, guys, keep your eyes open. Those coupons, don't hang on to them. Don't use up those coupons. Uh, don't, don't wait to use those coupons. Check those games and see if they are a better deal right now. <sighs> All right. I have been Big Dave, and uh, things might be a little bit sketchy over the next week or so. My in-laws are in town, so uh, if you don't see me for the rest of the week, I do apologize, but I will attempt to get at least one or two more videos out for you, including a roundup. So uh, fingers crossed on that. Uh, and again, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.